In a certain state's lottery, 48 balls numbered 1 through 48 are placed in a machine and 6 of them are drawn at random. If the six numbers drawn match the numbers that a player had chosen, the player wins $1 million. In this lottery, the order the numbers are drawn in doesn't matter. Compute the probability that you win the million dollar prize if you purchase a single lottery ticket. Let's learn about this. They tell us here that the order does not matter. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with and C R here. So there's 48 different balls that we can pick from, and so the number one through 48, and we have to get six of them correct. So how many different ways can we choose 48 balls, right? We have 48 balls, and we have to choose six of them. And that gives us the denominator here, the total outcome, the total number of combinations that we have. So if we use our formula here, <laughs> NCR, that's going to be 48 factorial over 48 minus R, which is 6 factorial. And then we have a 6 here factorial at the end for the bottom for the total. And we can use our calculator to do this. We also use the NCR function in our calculator if you have that. It's up to you. Uh, but we can also multiply some of this stuff out, right? The 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 44, 43, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then that cancels out the denominator. The rest of them will cancel out afterwards. Well, I can show it to you here. Why not? For this last time here, 2, 1. And the same thing here we have. 48 minus 46 is 42. 42 times 41 times 2.1. They cancel. Hope you see that. Right? The numerator and denominator here, that fraction. And then we have times 6 factorial right there. So if you want to multiply that out, or you can use NCR function on your calculator. Get the big denominator here. 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44 times 43 divided by 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we have 1, 2, 2, 7, 1, 5, 1, 2. And if I use the NCR function in my calculator, I can do 48 math, is depending on what you have. The calculator does that. And I get the same exact number here. Uh, what is that? 12,271,500. And 12. Okay. Now, the numerator here, we're only buying one ticket. So you only get one ticket, one set of numbers that don't repeat. There's only one there for that across the board. And so our probability of winning, right, for only one ticket here, probability of winning is 1 over 1,000 or 12 million. So 271,512, and if we write that as a decimal here, it's oh, 0. Point, and then it's going to be seven zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we have eight, one, five rounded. All right. So a very low probability that you get it, which makes sense. There's 12 million roughly different ways to combine this type of lottery and you only have one ticket there. Well, I hope you learned something about probability with the lottery. And as always, thanks for watching.